And then he says in verse 8, Come, come with me from Lebanon, my bride. God is always calling his people to come. And Satan is always telling them, you can't go. Look at you. I mean, how can you go? He knows what you've done. He knows your sins. He knows how vile you are. He knows the dullness of your heart. Don't go to him. But those are the words of the liar and the deceiver. And oftentimes you believe him because it is so hard to believe God with regard to his love because his love is so great. Do you want to know what the greatest act of faith is? I'm going to tell you the greatest act of faith for the Christian is to look in the mirror of God's word and see all their failings and then to believe by faith that God loves them as much as he says he does. That is faith. Because you have to believe something you've never even seen anywhere else in the world. No one is like God and no one's love is like God's love. When he tells you to come, don't you know the one who just spoke the word knows everything about you? He knows everything you've done, everything you're going to do. So if he says come, then the invitation is come. And look at this in verse 9. You have made my heart beat faster, my sister, my bride. You have made my heart beat faster with a single glance of your eyes. Now if that won't get you praying, I don't know what will. What does that tell me? I go like this. And you can hear the divine heart beat faster with a single glance of my eyes. When my little boy was born, I'll never forget, he was old enough, finally got to the point where he could smile and hug and lift his arms up in the air. And I'll never forget, he was laying there on our bed upstairs and I walked around the corner and came into the room and when he saw me, now you gotta understand, my boy could have a heart attack, he gets so excited looking at a blank wall. But, <laughs> He, he looked at me, and the moment he looked at me, he went, there was not one doubt in that little boy's mind that his father was going to run over there, grab him, pick him up, and hug him. There was not one doubt. I mean, you talk about self-esteem or self -esteem. He had no doubt that he was loved. He knew. He just had to cut those eyes at me. And I was a goner. How do you think those things happen? Do you think that they come out of creation or they're birthed out of human nature? Why do those things even exist in creation? Have you ever wondered about that? God put them there. And why did he put them there? To tell you about him. How can you love a child? How could you dare think that you love a child more than God loves you? can't even begin to understand. One look upward. He said, oh, Brother Paul, you don't understand. Son, you don't understand how powerful is the blood of Jesus Christ. Because of the work of Christ, he cannot love you more, will not love you less. One glance of your eyes. You've got him. You've got him. You've got him. One glance of your eyes, and his heart beats faster. Look what he says. You have made my heart beat faster, my sister, my bride. You have made my heart beat faster with a single glance of your eyes. Now look at this. With a single strand of your necklace. Let me ask you this. Where'd she get the necklace? She got it from him. So Joseph had a coat of many colors that he would not share with his brothers. But our Joseph... Our Jesus has a coat of many colors, a righteousness upon him that is, is his own by his own doing, and he gives it to you. He has saved you and not only cleaned you, he's dressed you up with his own grace. And every time he looks at you, this is what he sees.